this video, I'd like to show you the first of a series of exercises that you're going to hopefully follow through with all the way up to scales. I make all my beginning students go through these exercises just to develop a sense of keyboard awareness and some of the basic stuff you need before you start doing scales. You'll learn some technique, you'll learn how to move around on the keys a bit, and if you follow each exercise up with arpeggios, cadence, and twinkle, which you'll see on each one of the exercises, you're going to have a nice package, a nice combination of skills before you even reach the scales work that you're going to do. So, the first exercise in this series is called the peanut butter etude. You can find for the, the music for this as well as all the other exercises at the website truepianolessons.com. Um, the music always has it written out just in case you forget how to do the pattern, but really you don't need the music. If you just watch the video, you can figure out the patterns. I'll show you the pattern with the right hand nice and slow, both hands nice and slow, and then we'll go through the whole exercise after that at the tempo that you should have before you move on to the next exercise. My students work on each exercise for about one or two weeks or some of them even longer until they get up to the right tempo and then move on. So it's up to you how long you want to do each exercise, but I uh, recommend hanging in there with them until you feel really comfortable and confident up at the tempo that I'm going to give you, which is 120 for each note. Now um, you'll find if you get the music for these on the website, some of the notes at the end of each pattern are long in, in some of the exercises, and I don't really hold them that long. I just wait for a beat to go by on the metronome and move on to the next pattern. So it's up to you. You don't need to hold them out that long. I just wrote them out that way because it worked out better. But that's not the way you have to play them. And uh, the other thing is you will find a video of the arpeggios, cadence, and twinkle, which I put in there. Um, if you don't know how to do those things, you might want to watch those videos as well so you can combine the pattern that I'll be showing you with all that other stuff. And if you put it all together as a group of exercises and do it regularly, you're going to find your piano skills growing pretty fast, hopefully. So let's start with this video, the peanut butter exercise. I call it the peanut butter etude. Are you ready? Here we go. All right, here we go. Peanut butter. Now this exercise I use to teach the very brand new beginners how to feel the keyboard, how to get their hands on the keys, um, where to place their hands. Um, you can use this exercise for all those things. But I'm also teaching um, how to drop the weight of your arm into the keys by using repeated notes like this. Peanut butter, peanut butter. You'll see I'm just repeating the note over and over and when I do I keep my arm loose and my hand tall and just drop in so you get the feeling of dropping in. Now this exercise has two types of articulation. When you hear repeated notes you have to lift off the note but when you step from note to note I want you to try to play it smooth. So you're doing detached, detached, detached and then smooth and when you play smooth that means you have to hold this note down until this one plays but when this one plays you gotta let go of this one because if you hold it over, it'll sound muddy like this. See that? So every time you step to a new note, make it smooth, but don't hold over. So here we go. Here's the whole pattern. It goes like this. Peanut butter, peanut butter, peanut butter, peanut butter. And on this part, you're going to play smooth all the way. That is the pattern that you're going to use over and over. I'll do it one more time. Notice how I play detached and then smooth. Peanut butter smooth. Peanut butter smooth. Peanut butter connect. Peanut butter connect. Peanut butter pie. And the term for that type of playing, when you play smooth like this, you're connecting your notes. The musical term for that is legato. So anytime you see the word legato, um, you'll know that you're supposed to play smooth. Um, in music, you'll also see slurs. You'll see long curved lines that will tell you to play legato. So just keep that in mind as you learn. Now, I'm going to show you the pattern with both hands and with a metronome up at 120. I'm going to play the whole exercise for you. Once you've got the exercise of the pattern learned, you don't necessarily have to watch this whole thing, but I'll show it to you just, just in case you want to know what it looks like. When I get um, through with the pattern, you'll see going up, I will put it in reverse and come back down. I'm going to put the pattern in all these different positions, and this will help you learn how to start moving your hands around on the keyboard just a little bit at a time. 
So you're learning a lot by doing this exercise, and I don't need to talk about all the things you're learning. I'm just going to show it to you. I have the metronome at 120, and normally I have students start this exercise all the way down like it's 72 or 80. Here's 80. B not butter, B not butter, and so forth. And then over time, you can work your way up to 120 before you're ready to head off on to the next exercise. So I'm going to just do it at 120 to save a little bit of time. And here it is. This is how you take the pattern and move it up. P not I stopped holding the last note so long. If you have the music, which you, you can download from uh, piano exercises from the website, um, you'll notice that there's a half note at the end of each one, but you don't need to hold it that long. You could just go ahead and move it up after just one beat to save some time. Anyway, here we go. We're gonna, now we've made it from, from middle C all the way up an octave. Now I'm going to put it in reverse and go back down. exercise. Then follow it up with some arpeggios, which if you don't know how to do these arpeggios yet, I have a video on, on arpeggios where I go nice and slow and show you how to do it. For now, I'm just going to stick with the same tempo, 120. I'm going to start with a one chord arpeggio. A one chord is C, E, G in the key of C. Thank you. 
cadence. And um, you have to understand that these exercises are usually with beginning students, and at this point they don't know their chords well enough. You probably don't know your chords well enough. You have to do it with both hands at first. It would be better for you to start hands separately like this. Play the right hand. And I, I like to make my students do each chord at least two times, sometimes four for young students. Um, you can repeat the chords four times or two times. I'm going to do it twice. And I give each one two beats, so they're half note chords. One, two, three, four. Now I've done left, right hand, left hand, I'm going to do both. One, two, three, four, one. Feel the weight of your arm drop into the keys. Back to the one chord and hold. Now in all the videos coming up after this about the, the, the other seven exercises, I'm just going to play it with both hands, but you should know you could do hands separately first and it would probably be good for you. But from now on on these videos, I'll just do both hands to save some time. All right, now after I've done the arpeggios and the cadence, I follow it up with some twinkle. And this is to prepare you for burlesque someday, but first you learn how to play twinkle. I'm going to put a video up of the twinkle and the progression of learning on twinkle twinkle to help you get to this point right here. I'm going to skip to this point right here so you can see what it looks like. This is where you want to go with your twinkle twinkle. I'm going to play the Albert bass in the left hand like this while I play the melody in the right hand, and then I'm going to switch them. exercise so um, you could do the whole song if you want it's not much harder than that just to add a little bit more but I'm going to do just the first phrase and now I'm going to switch parts I'm going to put the melody into the left hand and the Alberti bass into the right hand I guess it's not really Alberti bass anymore it'd be Alberti treble but it's called Alberti bass so we'll call it that now ready the right hand does this the left hand does the, the twinkle exercise. So I did the peanut butter exercise followed by arpeggios, cadence, and twinkle. Now from now on in these videos I'm not going to talk nearly so much. I'm just going to go through the exercises for you so you can just see what they look like and then work on them on your own. Um, I just wanted to explain a few, few things in the first video but from now on I'll do less explaining and more just showing and you can do them. They're fairly simple once you get the hang of all these different things. So anyway, good luck with that and I hope you move on to the next video once you've mastered peanut butter etude.